Hey, Matt from Oregon Fly Fishing Blog and CaddisFlyShop.com here to talk to you today about bucktailing for silver salmon in the ocean, coho salmon in the bays. Uh, these are flies that you're going to troll behind a boat and catch big shiny salmon on the surface. Uh, we're going to do this on a Tiemco 811S size 2 forged saltwater hook. Uh, I like this hook because it's strong, it has a large eyelet, and they're easy to break because you're going to break this off and use a trailer. To attach the trailer, I've got a little bit of Berkeley fire line. You want probably 25 pound test. Just about anything in that 25 to 30 pound test range will work. Something stiff. I like fire line because it's stiff enough that you can bend it into a U shape and fold it back. So that's what we're going to do here is we're going to tie it in going forward along the shank and then take it back. Now this version of the fly I'm tying for you is just basically, you know, it's a cross between a clouser and kind of the traditional bucktailing Nelson baitfish style fly. And a little further back on the hook shank than you might normally want. So you're figuring aiding it onto the hook shank. Eight in one direction, eight in the other direction is usually about how I like to do it. And I give myself a little more room on these than I normally would on, on other eyes. So I go move them a little bit back so I can finish up pretty clean on the nose. There we go. So you've got your eyes. You've got your whole program here set up. Now, with these, you're going to take a little bit of white bucktail. Cut off a small hank of it. Kind of strip out the bottom fibers, the stray fibers on top. And we're going to tie in a little tail. So this is where it's a little different from a standard clouser. We're going to extend the body. So this tail is going to come off the back of the shank a little differently than it might on your normal clouser. We're going to trim it off. So this is your extension here. It's not very pretty. And then you're going to tie in kind of your traditional clouser white over the eyes and wrap it over. So that's here, up towards the front, lay it down over top with another hank and tie it down. Forming kind of that traditional clouser look and then take it back if you like that to take it back. I like to take it back and kind of form up that body and crisscross back over. And there we are. Back to the nose and trim it back. Okay, so there's your kind of bottom of the clouser, here, the belly of the bait fish there. I'm going to turn this over to finish it off with some cerise. That's the, the hot color, I think, white and cerise for coho salmon, silver salmon. Uh, but we also want to have a little bit of flash in here. There are different choices that you could do. I have been a big fan of UV crystal flash. Unstoppable. These two colors are fantastic. Uh, the other thing is flashaboo mirage. I think it's a lot more reflective and interesting than standard flashaboo. I'm going to use this on this fly. Uh, the other choice, the thing that worked for us up on the Strait of Juan de Fuca this year, is glow-in-the-dark flashaboo. You hit it with the camera flash a few times before you put it in the water. At dawn, this stuff glows like crazy. It Glow works for salmon. Uh, and this could work for you out of Newport. It could work out of Washington. There are all sorts of places right now where bucktailing, kind of the traditional ocean fly fishing for salmon program, is going off. So on this program, we're going to do a little bit of the flash of boomerang. That's what we're going to use for this. I've got a few strands. And I, I like to have this flash of kind of sandwich between the light color and the dark color on my clousers. I'm going to tie some of this in like so. And how I do this to for durability of the fly, I really like folding it over and then bringing it down both sides of the fly and tying it in long pieces folded back. So we've got a little bit of flash on this fly and now we come in with the hot pink cerise top color. 
And we've got another nice hank here of bucktail. And we want to strip out kind of the weird length fibers to try to get more of a uniform look. And it can go long down the top of the hook shank here. A few loose wraps to get it lined up. You can start cinching it down and trim it off here. And you start building up your nice little nose here. Once you've got kind of a clean look, and these flies do not have to be perfect. They're going through choppy salt water at about one to two knots. So I wouldn't be too concerned about how they look uh, from a very fine standpoint. And then we're going to finish it off with a whip finish. Now you could add, add zappa gap to those eyes at any point. You could add zappa gap here, or are you going to epoxy here? I am not going to epoxy this one. I'm going to zappa gap this one for sure. Zappa gap the eyes, the knots. Uh, I like to hit both sides of it with it right here. We want to get some on the thread wraps. But where I also like on my clousers to hit it with zappa gap is up top where the head yeah is. that seems to be the break apart point right? for those flies exactly hit some on that head to make that a little more durable so you've got uh, basically a finished fly here what you want to do now is add the trailer hook and the uh, break off the front hook pretty so now what we need to do is cut off the front hook we've got some big nasty pinching pliers we're going to go as far down the shank as you can to hide that shank and squeeze. Cut off the hook point. So now you've got your shank and your trailing line back there, your basic fly. And what you're going to add to this is I like a Gamagatsu size one or two octopus hook. These are red. I like red, black, silver. I don't think the trailing hook matters that much. And so you've got your loop of stiff fire line or mono or gel spun and you just push the loop through the eye of the hook and then cinch it back through this way and there you go there's your finished fly it's a Nelson style bait fish for bucktailing for silvers it's got the trailing hook here pink and white can't beat it